Hello and welcome back to our series on using the features of Edmodo. Today I want to talk about how you can create your own quizzes and create your own polls for your students on Edmodo and that can be a really great tool for assessment. Once again I'm starting at the login screen, I've put in my details and I'm just going to click login. Now let's say that I'm teaching a mathematics class and if you've looked at previous ones you'll know that I've created these three classes and I'm going to be going to my mathematics in this case. Now Offered Mathematics uses lots of quizzes or polls or bits and pieces to create tests and answers and again this is just a really quick way which will actually mark it for you and actually allow you to uh, put together um, an assessment task which your students can access online so they could do it for homework or from home. As you can see and we've talked about this in previous posts if I want to put something on the wall of my class I could either do it as just a note Okay, so if I said hello or just something else, probably a little bit more important, that shows up on their wall. And you'll notice I hadn't posted anything on the wall before, so that's the first thing to show up. I could also put in an alert, and I've mentioned the fact that an alert just comes up here um, on their notifications that there's something important that they have to look at. Uh, I could put in an assignment. We had a previous post on that as well. But today I want to look at these two tabs up in the corner here, quiz and poll. And these are really great tools. So the first one we're going to look at is a quiz. Now if you've previously done a quiz or, or you know maybe you've previously done a math test or something, you can certainly load that off of your profile. But today I'm going to create my own quiz and I'm going to make a really simple one. It's not going to be really very difficult. Um, but I just want to show you some of these features. So in this case I need to give it a title, so I'm just going to call it Maths, uh, Maths Test Week 1 perhaps, okay, and similar, if you've, any, if you've ever used any of this stuff before, similar to SurveyMonkey um, or anything like that, it tells you about the type of question that you want to put in. Um, I can put a time limit on this, so I could say, oh, they've only got an hour to do it once they start, or they've only got half an hour, and that's a great way, particularly when you need students to catch up. You can see here for my type, I've said multiple choice, but I could put in a true or false question, a short answer, a fill in the blank, or a matching piece as well. So there's different types of questions I can put in. Um, and of course, some of them are better suited to actually be marked by the computer. Some of them I might have to look at myself. I'm going to start with a simple one, which is a multiple choice question. Okay, and I'm going to add the first question here. Now the question uh, prompt in this case, um, Look, as I mentioned, I'm not going to go for a really complicated maths test here. I don't want you scratching your head too much. Um, you know, so maybe I might just say, what is 2 plus 2? Okay. And set that up as a question, but that could be anything that you want. And of course, uh, for my responses here, I could put in my correct answer, um, but I can actually add a number of responses. So let's say, okay, well, the first one I'm going to say is 4, which is the correct answer. I'm also going to put 3 in there just to confuse them, as multiple choices tend to do. I went down and I pressed this Add Response button. Maybe I'll put in 7, and maybe I'll put in a fourth one as well, and I'll make that 43. Um, and obviously, you can see I can set any one of these as my correct answer and I can remove them if I make a mistake but in this case I need them to actually click A okay so all of that's actually set all right and now I can say add response oh actually sorry that was the wrong one remove answer um, yep so once I've got that one done sorry I can then say assign quiz saving and it's all set okay so maths work quiz now Obviously, I only put one question in there, and once I've put it together, I can then you know, set a due date so I can say, all right, kids, you need to do this by Friday. Um, it's got a time limit. Once you start it, you've only got half an hour, all of that kind of business. But if I wanted to add more detail to it, I come back to this particular point, and you'll notice it says up in the, quest up in the uh, top here that the questions, I've only got one question in there. So in this case, this little plus prompt here allows me to add other questions. So I say, all right, give me another one. And this one I might not want to be multiple choice. I might make this one true or false. And notice it just changes this one. So I might say, you know, if I was going to be really biased, or, or maybe or I was going to say maths is great, agree or disagree. And of course, you could fool them with that. But uh, maybe I could just say something really simple like 3 plus 3 equals 7. Okay. Um, and then, of course, is this true or is this false? Okay, well, in this case, that's false. And I'm going to say that's the correct answer is actually false. 
Okay, so 3 plus 3 equals 7 is false. And while I'm here, I'm going to add another question as well. So it's just going to be a three question, uh, question quiz, perhaps. Maybe I could say a short answer. Okay, and here you could have something like, um, you know, uh, if you have 7 and you take 3, how much is left? That's probably not the best grammar ever. Um, but in this case, you know, I'm setting it up and I could attach a particular link or I could attach a document or something, you know, look at this picture and tell me what you think, anything like that. And um, of course they can use it. Now, just as before, once I've finished, I've added all of the questions I want to do, I can press assign quiz. Okay, as I mentioned, I've got a due date on there. I could make the due date, and sometimes what I might do is if I'm teaching, let's say I make it in the morning, I could actually make it due on that day. So let's say I, you know, today's Wednesday, I say, okay, it's due today. Okay, and then I get them to do it in class, and if they don't finish it, or if someone's not there, then they have to catch it up. And of course, when I've said uh, send to, okay, in this case, I want that to go to mathematics. Okay, um, usually that'll come up automatically, but as you can see, it's actually taken me back out of the main screen here. Um, so just make sure that that says send to mathematics. I click send. There we go. Okay, and once again, I can see how many people have actually turned that in. So that's a really great way to go about it. A little bit quicker, a little bit easier, but certainly very diverse is also you can use a poll. Okay, I'm just going to go back to my mathematics class in this case. Okay, and click poll. Okay, and in this case, I need to put in a question. So I might say, you know, which color do you prefer? And I actually, I really use this a lot in my class to gauge responses. It's a quick and easy thing you can do, particularly if they've all got Edmodo up and you've got your laptop in front of you. Um, you know, it can be a really great way to get a quick response. And of course, there's that typical uh, business of saying that students who wouldn't usually raise their hand would be really happy to actually respond in this way. Um, I've said, which color do you prefer, red, blue? And again, I can add as many as I want. I could say red, blue, green. I could say orange, doesn't really matter, I could keep going all day. Um, and you'll notice because I clicked on that mathematics, you can see I'm part of the mathematics class, that's where it's being sent, down to mathematics, okay? But I could actually, you know, with all of my posts, I could send this to my English class as well. I could say, oh, you know, I want all of my kids to answer the same question. Um, so anything like that is fine. Once I've got it the way I want, which color do you prefer? I just say send, okay, and done. And this is what it looks like. So you can see, I can look at all the results here. And the students, as they go through, they're only allowed to vote once. But of course, it'll show me in real time um, who's voting for what. And that's a really great tool. It's easy to use. It takes one second to set up. And you can have some really great fun with it within your class. So hopefully this quiz option and poll option give you a bit of an idea about some of the diversities of Edmodo and some of the ways that you can use it to gauge information, to interact with your students, get them engaged, um, or also conduct an assessment.